Hi guys! Um, welcome to Tuesday Night Live. My name is Betty Sakosha. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and the team leader for the Power of Positive Inking. It is Tuesday night, July 11th, I think. I think it's July 11th. Maybe the 12th. Maybe the 12th. I take that back. I think I'm pretty sure it's the 12th <laughs> in any case. Um, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Um, I see a couple of you are on now. Um, so thank you for being here. So let me know in the comments if you were able to watch this live or if you were able to watch this on replay. And um, you can also let me know if you're watching this. Uh, if you're watching this live, then you're watching it on Facebook. But if you're watching it on YouTube, you can um, leave a comment with that as well. Okay, so here's what's happening. Um, celebration is happening again. Um, this happens twice a year now in the, in the world of Stampin' Up! So what that means, if you're new to that, is that for qualifying orders, which in the United States is $50 or $100, you get some extra freebies. So um, the catalog, I'll flip down in just a minute, but the catalog should look like this. You should have this. If you don't yet, and I'm your demonstrator, please let me know and I will make sure you get it. And if somebody else is your demonstrator, let them know and then they will get it for you. So I am getting confirmation that yes, in fact, it is July 12th, which means we are two weeks into celebration, which means we got to start really talking about it. I actually didn't have a lot of my celebration stuff. It is slowly coming in. So you'll be seeing more and more celebration items yet to come. But tonight is my absolute favorite. So let me flip you down and we'll start to chat. All right, I see a bunch of you in on Tuesday night. So thank you for joining me. Okay, this is not a surprise. If you know me, <laughs> this is no surprise that this was going to be my favorite. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this is actually not the celebration set. This is a celebration catalog. And as I mentioned, you can get free things depending on your order. Um, if your order totals $50 or $100, you can get different items. So for $50, um, there's a bunch of different things you can get different. Uh, well, that's a stamp set, some paper, some envelopes and cards, a stamp set. There's lots of things you can get for $50. But my absolute favorite thing in the whole celebration catalog is these tree lot dies. And these are found on page 12 and 13 of the celebration catalog. And they are free with qualifying orders of $100. There is so much in these dies that I'm going to show you tonight. But I just wanted to show you that they actually coordinate with um, this stamp set here, which is in the what we're calling the Jan July to December catalog on page 39. So this stamp set right here, which is uh, called Trees for Sale, it is a very Christmassy set, but doesn't necessarily have to be Christmassy. It's got trees and a dog and lights. And none of that necessarily screams Christmas. The words Christmas greening, those definitely scream Christmas. But everything else, um, you light up the season fireflies late up the season, right? So that's not necessarily Christmas. The little stand here, that is kind of Christmassy. Snowflakes, yes, and so very merry, yes. But this, this can be used for a lot of other things. And so I would like to um, focus on, well, actually, I'm not even really gonna focus on the stamp set tonight because I wanted to show you how you can use the dies separate from the stamp set and how they don't, um, they don't necessarily have to be a Christmas set. So if you're not in the market for Christmas yet, have no fear. Um, you can use a set all year round. Okay, so let me get this out of the way and bring in, bring in the dies. So these dies come with 22 dies. If you ever wonder, right down here, I don't know what PEP means, but that to me, means the number of dies that you should have 
all together in your set. And if you don't, it's a good way to check how many you're missing, <laughs> which often happens to me. Um, so this is everything that you get for the dies. And so I've kind of placed them down here. So let me zoom in for you to see what they, what it actually encompasses. Let me zoom out a little. Okay. So there's three trees and these trees, whoops, got some extra parts on here. Um, hang on. Okay. So these trees come with the outline and then with the detail piece. Now the detail piece in no, let me see. In the celebration catalog, the detail pieces are done in white, so they look like snow. But I actually did those in a different color, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do that, or um, different ways that I did it. Let's put it that way. Um, so the trees, there's three different size trees, trees, <laughs> and three different details for those. So that's six. There are three stands for the trees. So because there are three trees and you could cut those all out at once, you could also stamp your three stands and cut them out at once to save you time. There's a little um, outline for the trees for sale sign. These little guys here, um, I believe are supposed to be ornaments for this little tree. And the tree and the stand are actually, they cut out together, but they're separate pieces here. It's a very, very Charlie Brownish tree. Um, the reason I think that they are going the tree is because that's how they did it in the catalog. So the people that knew made it and that's how they did it. So I believe that's what those are for. I initially thought maybe they're just funny stars, but we actually have stars, which have a little bit of detail there, I think you can see. So the three stars, six ornaments, a little Charlie Brown tree in a stand, a wreath and a bow, a dog. These, I believe, are steps for the camper or maybe a mat to put in front of the camper. Um, I'm yet to use those. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, so jury's out on that, but there they are. Lights. I love me some outdoor hanging lights. Um, a pole for the lights, so you could put a pole on each side. It could also be a Festivus pole. Um, some um, banners that you can hang on your camper. If you haven't been camping, um, that's a thing. Hanging things off your camper is definitely a thing. Usually, usually it's lights, but um, anyway, it looks really cute as um, if you hang that over your camper as well. Okay, so now the camper actually comes in two different parts. So you could use the camper in all of one color, um, which I probably should have shown you, but didn't. Here, let me pull in another one. Okay, so this one, I'll put this down here so you can see. Okay, so this is how it cuts out the camper, and you could decorate it by coloring it in any sort of way that you wanted to. But then there's also this other, so that's the camper die. And then this die here cuts out these two pieces. It made no sense to me when I looked at it, but the way that it cuts out is these two pieces are embossed and then cut right in half. So they actually um, form this part here. So you can have your top and your bottom, different colors of your camper. And then in addition to, oh, and then this cute thing is a curtain. So cute. Whoever came up with this idea clearly is a big, um, is a big camper. Okay, so then these pieces cut out, but could also go back in. Um, so you could do them in different colors and add just a different kind of look if you wanted to do that. Um, but I'm going to show you some other things that I did with it tonight. So that's a lot of things, right? 22 things. Um, so it's well worth it. I was going to say it's worth your money, but your money is actually going to be spent on, um, on the, on other things and that that's going to be for free. Okay. I'm seeing some notes. Maureen is saying silver paper makes it look like an airstream. You might be seeing that tonight, Maureen. And then Susan is saying rectangles look like trunks to trees. Oh, maybe they are. Huh. I think you're right. Okay. 
I guess they are not steps at all. You're on your own getting into that airstream. Brilliant, Susan, brilliant. Thank you. Okay, so I will go back and make something else <laughs> with chunks of trees on it. Okay, but let me show you. Let me just get started on the card, and then at the end, I'm going to show you some other samples. Okay, so I previously cut out a bunch of stuff because it, it, it takes a little bit of time to cut out stuff, and I didn't want to waste our time together cutting out things. I thought I'd waste her time in other ways. So um, I've got a bunch of tree parts, and these are the details, the detailed part of the trees, and then the main part of the trees. Let's take a look. Let's take a look how that would look. Okay, you have to imagine just one stem. You are so right, Susan. That's exactly what that's supposed to be. Okay, so as you can see, when you punch these out, you don't punch them out, you die cut them out using your big boss, your embossing machine. Um, let me zoom you in just a smidge, maybe not. All right, not gonna work for me right now, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna use my paper, paper poker. This is our, my um, pick a tool and I've picked the pokey tool. That, by the way, I'm always looking for things that look like other things. You see that there? Anybody? Anybody? Tell me what you think that looks like. I'll leave it there for now. This reminds me of Root Canal. I don't know what these things are. This looks like maybe, I don't know, Florida? <gasps> Marie said is coming tomorrow. Well, Marie, I'm hoping that you'll be so inspired by what we accomplish here tonight that you just rip that set open and get busy. A bird, Chris says a bird. <gasps> I do kind of see a bird, you're right. That's not what I was thinking, but I do see a bird. Anybody else have a guess? Um, mostly it's just paper poop and you can sweep it right into your trash. But sometimes the things are so good that we find in our in our scraps that we have to use them. Oh, Sandy just ordered a witch's hat. Susan, that's exactly what I was thinking. We've got a baby witch's hat. And there's a, there's a new stamp set that has witch's hats, which I own and have just begun to start playing with. So you will see more of that. And maybe when you see that, I will bring out my baby witch's hats. All right. All right, I'm so glad that everybody is loving this set that they all ordered it. Now, here's the thing. These are very detailed and they have to fit on here. So um, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could have attached some adhesive, um, what do we call that stuff? Adhesive sheets. You could have run it through with adhesive sheets. That would have been helpful, um, but I did not do that. So let me show you how I am going to, how I am going to um, put this on. I'm going to bring out my silicone mat. If you don't have a silicone mat, they come in really handy. Um, they come in so handy that I have three of them. Okay, so the silicone mat, the beauty of it is nothing is ever really going to stick to it. So I'm going to put some green glue, a blob of green glue up here in the corner. And then... I'm going to take a sponge. So to save my hands from getting really tacky because green glue is known for being tacky, um, I've just put a little clippy clippy on it to hold that there, it makes it easier to hold. So I'm gonna just dab my glue like so. Everyone should have at least one, you're right. Sandy's saying everyone should have at least one silicone mat. She's right. So if you don't have one, you want to add that to your list because you want to get to $100 because you're going to definitely want this, um, these um, dies. Now the other thing I should mention about these dies is that they are available only during celebration and only as supplies are available. So they could possibly run out. So if you want them, 
you need to start thinking about getting them. You don't want to you don't want to be waiting till late August because they may not be available. Okay, now something that I need to show you with this. Can you see a little bit of this kind of that in the background? So that is um, glue that has leaked through the different detail parts of my tree. So what I do is I keep moving this around to find a different place to sponge my glue on. And then, whoops, where's all my tree bottoms? Oh, here they are. Okay, and then in the end, well, I'll show you in the end what happens. Okay, so you definitely wanna get out, see all these bits? You definitely wanna get those all out before you start this process because um, once you glue them in, you're kinda stuck. Now, initially today, I was, I did not do it this way. I just, because I was anxious to get going and I just didn't pull out all my supplies, but I just put a little dab of the green glue all over the back. It Well, in various spots in the back and that held fine, but this is a much easier way and um, definitely more efficient. All right, so I, I just keep trying to find a new spot that hasn't been glue jet and the dies do have a front and a back side so make sure you're gluing the right side all right I will show you at the end I actually I wasn't sure if the <laughs> if the details should be lighter or darker to be honest and so this is the way that I did most of mine but I'm going to show you um, I kind of altered it on another one so I'll show you that as well all right, so. Hello. Okay, perfect. Now I've got all of my trees done. That was pretty quick, right? Now this, you're wondering, but Betty, what are you gonna do with that big sticky thing? So by the time I am finished, this will all be dried up and I will just take my finger and rub all the glue off and it will be good as new. You can also run it under the sink once, it's, once you've taken the glue off um, and it's good to go. Okay, so I've got a bunch of trees ready to go. Now I gotta get my camper ready. So, where are my camper parts? Okay, I really wanted to do a retro camper because to me this looks very retro. Um, and so, I, <laughs> to me, um, Coastal Cabana is among the most retro color we own, I think. <laughs> Um, in my opinion. So I have chosen to do a coastal cabana um, camper, but I'm also using silver. Now, I don't, I meant to look this up, but I'm pretty sure we don't actually carry silver paper at this time. Um, if somebody's watching and they could have the, have the chance to look that up, that would be great. But in the past, we have offered it in... Um, in various kinds of things. Like we've offered brushed silver paper, we've offered silver 12 by 12 that came two in a package. Um, I'm not sure if we're actually offering it right now. So hopefully you have a stash if we're not offering it. If we are offering it, then great, you can get that. But if not, hopefully you have a stash of that. Okay, so the silver I'm gonna put right on the top. I don't usually like to use things that you can't buy, but it was so... It was screaming that it needed this. Even Maureen thought so, so. So I dug out my old stash of silver. Silver never goes out of the style, right? Okay, so that's the top. So far it looks goofy. I'll give you that. And then I'm just putting my green glue right on here. Silver foil specialty paper. Do we still carry that, Susan? She's saying, maybe we still do. Oh, I hope we do. If we do, Susan, would you mind just putting down the number so it's in the comments because by the time I'm done, you're all going to want it. I don't want you to miss out on it. Okay, so here is our camper. Pretty good, right? But currently, you can see through it. So we have to fix that. Um... So here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put some vellum behind it to give it windows. Now you could use window sheets, um, but I like the vellum because you can see through it. Um, I, I don't know. I just like vellum. You could use a window sheet. That's fine. But here's what I'm going to do with the vellum. I'm going to just cut off a little bit. Oh, fantastic. We offer it. Okay. Sorry. I'm taking a step backwards, but we offer this, the um, silver paper so that is perfect you're definitely gonna if you want this set you're definitely gonna want the silver okay so I'm just using a piece of our um, vellum cardstock and I'm just gonna cut it like so now the thing about campers is I really like when camper this whole card I should take a step back and tell you this whole card is gonna be a nighttime scene so the cool thing about campers is when people are in the camper, you can see the light on inside, they're probably playing games, whatever, telling ghost stories inside their camper. So I wanted this to be an inside scene, okay? I want, I want this to look all glowy on the inside. Now I could use yellow paper behind there, but I kind of think this look works a little bit more with what I was looking for. So I am using my So Saffron Dark Blend and I am just going to go all over my vellum. Give it a minute to dry. Make sure I actually got it where I thought I got it. Yeah, sure, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a second to dry. Oh, shoot, I forgot to show you this. Oh, it's so good, I really wanna show you. Oh, good news, good news. Hasn't quite adhered yet. I love green glue. It's there when you need it, right? Okay. Pretend that didn't happen, but I do want to show you the tire. So here's what you can do with the tire, because no tire is that color. No tire is that color. So I'm just using my black marker, and I'm just, and I don't care what happens up here, because as you just saw, it's already going to be covered. So I'm just going to go over the black tire like this. So it's still going to leave a little, um, like well, if you will. And then around the outside here, I'm just gonna do this so that it doesn't look like a Coastal Cabana tire. Okay, pretty ugly right now, right? Kinda looks like a smiley face though. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. <laughs> now we'll re-glue we'll re this. Sorry for that interruption there. But I'm re-gluing this, and I'll put it right back on now. And now the tire is black, as it should be. And the bottom is silver, also as it should be. Oh my goodness, I love this little camper. Okay, now I'm gonna put my vellum on. This should be, that gave me perfect amount of time for that to dry. So what I'm gonna do for the vellum is just put it right around, I'm putting the glue around the window here as opposed to on the vellum because I don't, I don't want it to be peeking through. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want glue to be oozing out. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so that's on there like that. Can you see that little corner there? I'll just give that a little haircut. Okay, perfect. Now, it is yellow, you can see, but it's a little tough to see that it's yellow. So to kind of pop that yellow, I'm going to put some white behind it, and that's really going to pop it. And I'm doing this without, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put glue right around here. Again, I probably could have um, just use yellow paper behind there, but I feel like that would look more like the color of the inside of the camper and not the glowing light from the inside of the camper that I was going for. La. Oops. Get out of here, vellum. Okay, there we go. Now, let's put this baby together. All right, I'm making, as I said, I'm making a nighttime sky. Um, this does come with stars, but I said, eh, I don't want that. I'm going to actually make my own stars. So what I'm going to do is to take 
some reinker, some whisper white reinker, and I'm going to make some stars. Now you can do this um, by squishing your pad and collecting some ink in the cover, but I decided I was going to do it this way. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me. So I'm just putting a blob, a little small blob. I don't need that much of the craft refill, the white ink refill. And then I'm going to take my um, water paint or aqua paint or whatever you have. This is an old version of what we currently carry. And I'm actually going to dip it in some water. Um, you can squeeze the water out, but I, I think it's just going to be easier to do this. So I'm just dipping it in some water, giving it a little bit of, oh, this is going to be great. Okay, now I'm moving everything out of the way because this can get a little messy. So if you're that type, hold on tight. Okay, so what I did is I just picked up a lot of that um, white with my painter, and now I'm going to kind of tap it on my hand. Oh, look at this. It's going to be like the Milky Way. My desk is now looking like the Milky Way, to be honest. Let me show you. Whatever, I'll clean it later. But look at that. Perfect. Okay, and then to clean this off, I find the easiest thing. You could squeeze it out, but um, this is a craft ink. It's a very thick and a permanent ink, so I don't want it on there eventually. So I just um, kind of dabbed it in the water. It's fine. It's fine. And then this I'll just wash off when we're all done, <laughs> as well as the rest of my table. Okay. Now, I need to ground this whole thing. So I'm going to use some crumb cake, and I'm just going to pull off whatever enough to be a ground that's good should be a level campground so i'm gonna I, I don't need it too bumpy nobody needs that at a campground right for those of you that camp you know trying to get it level is is quite the thing okay so a little green glue on here and my stars are quickly drying sounds like an album <laughs> If anybody out there is a musician, feel free to use that. I don't even require rights. Okay. Now, we need a bunch of trees and the camper. But I'm going to place my camper first. I'm not actually going to put it down. I'm just going to kind of place it. And then I'm going to decide where I want everything else. So... Um, the beautiful thing is you can make this look like a really tall tree so our trees don't all look at the same height. Because I put the white behind here, you can't even see through this, so it doesn't matter that these are floating trees. It could also be an album. <laughs> floating trees. Um, but, let me see. I'm going to kind of position them and then I'm going to... And then one little guy over here. Then I'll pick up my camper and I'll actually put them down. And then, I don't know. Do you think I need another tree? I feel like that's too much. Maybe a skinny tree. Yeah, I got some little skinny trees over here. Oh, that looks like a nice campsite. Okay, so I'm going to start to position them. I'm going to start with my floating tree first. I believe he was fairly high up in the sky. <laughs> Hopefully this works. And then this little guy... It was about there. This guy, I definitely want. Yeah, let's push him close so that the camper covers them, so we know that we don't know that they're floating. We just think they're big trees. And then this guy, I will put on the actual ground. All right. So that's gonna go like so. I don't know if I actually want, to be honest, I think I'm not going to, 
I don't know if I want this other tree. I feel like there's too much around it. I kind of like a little bit of that bareness in there. So I'm going to do that. My campground. I'll do it the way I want, right? Okay, so this guy I'm going to put right here. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. So let's pull in some of these. I always use dimensionals where I can reinforce them. So I've already glued this down, but I always use dimensionals kind of holding that on just in case. Alrighty, cover the hovering floating trees, making sure the camper is level. Low. I got two extra trees, so I could use them on the inside or I could use them for another card. All right, so to finish this card off, I'm going to attach it to a layer of um, old olive. My trees were old olive, old olive and mossy meadow. Mossy meadow is the top and old olive was the background. Um, okay, there we go. This does not say Christmas at all, right? This says happy vacation. Oh my gosh, oh, I forgot my curtain. <sighs> Okay, so this is what I was going to tell you. If you put your curtain behind the vellum, which is what I thought I would do today, it actually ends up not really showing up all that much. So your curtain really needs to go on the outside, but I, but I don't think it takes away from it, so I'm not worried about it. But if you are, put it behind your vellum. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put a smidge of gr green glue there. Let me use my uh, picker upper tool. What do we call that? Putty? <laughs> picker upper, whatever. Okay, so, and I, I used for this, I used um, Poppy Parade. I thought that was a kind of a nice retro finish to the card. La! Oh my goodness, I love camping. Okay. So let me show you some other samples also made with the same set. It, well, here was my other one. This one had, so this was the first one I did today. Um, this one I did fit in five trees and they fit fine, but uh, I don't know. I like four trees there. I actually prefer a little open space. Okay, so that was one. This one here does actually not... You, the only cutout this uses is the trees for sale. So this is mostly the stamp set. I used a variety. I pulled out like every green I have, and I just started messing around with them. I did not end up using um, soft succulent or or evening evergreen, um, but almost every other green I was using there. Now, I had a little catastrophe here because <laughs> what I did with my lights is that I stamped them, and then I used... Um, we used to carry a chalk marker, which we no longer carry. So that's what I used on my lights. And then I decided to use Wink of Stella. But my Wink of Stella actually, for some reason, blobbed out at that point. So it's a little bit uh, blobby. Um, but that was the, I was going for kind of this shimmery look. So I think in the future it could work. If you don't own a chalk marker, you could also use the um, same thing with the white ink and just fill in the circles. Or... You could use um, yellow if you wanted to. I sponged the top, not sponged. I used my um, blending brush on the top to bring in some blue. And then I added some of the um, snowflakes that were in there as well. And I just didn't, I just stopped blending when I got to the bottom. So that sort of gives you the bottom snow covered look there. And then I used the embossing folder with the um, pines. Okay, um, in the Celebration Catalog, they show you this cute little tag right here made with the Charlie Brown tree. I so wish they also gave you a blanket to, <laughs> to wrap around the bottom. I think that would be so cute. I may see if there's a way I can jerry-rig something because I think it would be so cute. So I basically um, used some different paper 
and came up with my very own tag there. But that's using um, the tree from that set as well. Here is another one that I made. So this only had three trees. This was just using the blending brushes to bring in. I used um, Starry Sky, <laughs> appropriate, um, for the top of it. And then the bottom, I used some crumb cake to give you the bottom there. And this, I, I'm looking now, is the exact same camper. <laughs> I thought it was a different color camper, but it's not. So this one, I did not put the white behind it. And... Um, and so you can see that you kind of can see through it, whereas the, the this one here has more of a glow to it. Okay, so can you use the top of the tree to use it as a skirt? Oh, maybe. So um, Susan is asking, could you use the blends to make a blanket for it? Possibly, but I think they wouldn't really go around the bottom. But I think Susan is also asking, could you use part of this to look like a little skirt at the bottom of the tree? And possibly you could. So I will try out both of these ideas this week, and I will let you know what I come up with. Okay, so that was that one there, and I actually used the silver um, silver stars. I think there's two more stars required in this one. I only put on three. They always say do things in fives, or even odd, odd numbers. Um, I agree with that, but... Three is not enough, in my opinion. Okay, and then the final one that I did was using a brand new embossing folder. And I made a full-on Airstream, like Maureen was talking about. So Airstreams are all silver. Um, actually, it's I'm sure it's not an Airstream. If you're an Airstream owner, you know that's not an Airstream. But it looked Airstreamy to me. I'm looking for this folder because it's definitely in our new catalog. And I want to get you in the right place. It's on page 17 of our new, um, okay, okay. This could be one of the most overlooked things <laughs> that are in this cat. Well, I keep finding things that are overlooked in here, so who knows. But on page 17 of our January to, no, July to December catalog. There are two little embossing folders way up in the corner here, and they look like, um, like maybe like a biblical city type of look. Let me show you. Maybe not even, maybe just a city. Some kind of city, and then like Yeti mountains, or just mountains, snow-capped mountains. So, um, those are two small embossing folders that you can get. So I used that on the starry sky, made my Airstream with just the vellum. I did not make it glowy. This is the one I was telling you, I did my trees differently. So some trees are darker in the back with the detail color lighter and some are the opposite. I'm not sure how they're supposed to be. You can let me know what you think. Um, and then up here, I did just use my chalk marker on the, on the, um, on the little circles that were up there, and then the stars, the actual star shapes, I used Wink of Stella. So let me pull in everything made with um, with this new, here, I'm gonna use this one because I like this one better. It's got more open space, right? And then my little tag there. Here's all the dies that come with this. It is such a good set. Maria's saying that she saw somebody use the trees to make candy corn. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure how that would happen because they do have a lot of dimension on the outside, but um, I'd be very interested in that. Something that can make a camping card, a candy corn card, and a... Christmas card would be awesome, right? Okay, so let me show you. So this is available now through the month of, uh, or through the end of August, unless they sell out. So if you love these dies, I definitely would put this on your list to get it sooner rather than, sooner rather than later, because dies are something that, um, so dies and paper tend to sell out. Stamp sets usually we have for a little bit longer. Um, 
so you can also purchase the stamp set, which is um, on page 39 of the catalog. The stamp set itself is $22, and if you have that, then you'll have lots of things that you can make. But it's not necessary because you can still make a lot of things without the stamp set. Okay, so let me tell you what else is happening during celebration, just so you don't miss out. I have more things yet to come. You will be seeing more things ahead. Um, I did receive this paper, which is really cute. I don't have the accompanying stamp set, so I'm going to mess around with the paper and bring you some ideas of what you can do with, if you are in the same boat as me and you don't own it. Um, there's other stamp sets, other paper, lots of great things. This is a this is a, another $100 um, combination where you get 12 by 12 paper as well as a stamp set. Um, so if you... Um, if you're placing your order, place it so that you can maximize what you get for free. Speaking of which, if you are a host during celebration, so now until the end of August, and your party equals $300, you get this um, really cute, I don't know if cute's the word, really nice, um, perfect pomegranate stamp set. Um, that's free in addition to everything else that you get as a hostess. So your other freebies that you can that you can also get as a hostess. When I say hostess, you can have a party. So you should contact myself or your demonstrator, whomever your demonstrator might be. If you would like to have a party, be it in person or virtually, you can work out those details. Um, but you can also place a party of one and get your own. You can be your own hostess and have your own party. And that still qualifies for this. So keep that in mind. And then finally, I wanted to remind you that um, the, the um, if you choose to sign up to join our team, um, it's $99. You get to pick $125 of anything you want in the catalog or catalogs. Um, and in addition, you also get this really nice planner along with the stamp set. Um, that's kind of good for adding things to you could use it for a lot of things but also to add to the planner and the planner goes through next year so it's like an 18 month type of planner and I've seen it although I do not own it and it looks really really nice um, so that is also happening till the end of August just keep in mind that if you do do the $99 thing um, that starter kit it does not um, you cannot also get celebration freebies with this but once you are a demonstrator you can place your own order and you can get as many celebration goodies as you qualify for okay so um oh so maria is saying it wasn't not those trees oh the embossing folder they made candy corns out of that oh i'm gonna have to check that out that actually looks really cool okay cool all right i'm gonna flip you down and chat for a minute okay so that is it for tonight. Um, I really wanted you to be able to see this, um, these dies because they were absolutely my favorite. As soon as I saw them, I knew they would be mine and I would start to play with them. And I've been very, very pleased with everything that I have messed around with. And I've only had the ability to mess around a very short amount of time. So um, I'm looking forward to playing with those more. Moving forward, you will be seeing more celebration items from me. Um, like I said, if you're putting in an order, make sure that you um, really think it through so that you're going to maximize the amount of free stuff you get. You don't want to put in a $75 order now and then in a month put in another $75 order because if you had put it together, um, you would have gotten three celebration items as opposed to just two. We want you to get the most bang for your buck possible. All right. If you do have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will be happy to get back to you. Um, I will see you next Tuesday night or maybe sooner. It's hard to say, but definitely next Tuesday night. Um, I hope you are well. Hope you all have a great week. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. Oh, Julie just showed up. Julie, you have to watch the replay. Um, good to see you, but gotta go. <laughs> all right. Thanks guys. Have a good week. And, um, See you next week.